Every Call of Duty game since the first one, way back when, has always had a single player campaign or story to it. Um, however, based on the reports that have came out over the last day, that is set to change with Black Ops 4 this year. Now, if you clicked on this video, you're most likely to have an understanding of what's the news that has came out through Polygon and Charlie Intel on Twitter and all that. And that is that Black Ops 4 may not have a campaign, um, may not have a single player game campaign in order to focus predominantly on multiplayer and zombies. Now, another, another leak essentially, another story to come out from this is that ultimately the mode that is replacing the single player campaign will be a battle royale mode and that has been developed by Raven which would um, also link to you know the rumours surrounding Modern Warfare 2 Remastered being not developed by Raven right, this would fill in what Raven are actually working on um, and that is basically what we've got at this moment in time no single player campaign so they can focus on multiplayer and zombies and then also a battle royale mode which will essentially replace what would the, the uh, single player campaign now ultimately in this video I want to talk about why I think this is bad Thing, or I'm against it at least um, that will become pretty clear as we're talking through this that I I for one I like a good campaign and I wasn't particularly for the idea of a battle royale being in Call of Duty so this this shits on my views a little bit but never mind um, first of all this this looks like it could quite easily be realistic um, I actually made a video like a week ago saying about sort of speculating about where the game would be set and what time era an era would be set in and what the campaign might do um and I made it quite clear it's as much as there's a lot of time in this sort of timeline of black ops to fit something in fit a campaign in there might be some complications around you know this is ultimately a black ops 4 game this is a sequel but it probably won't be a sequel if it wants to focus on being around black ops 2 it'll mean the order will go one, two, three. One, two, three. No, one, two, four, three. That's what I'm trying to get at. Uh, in terms of chronologically, the story. Um and oh, an easy way of getting out of that is just simply not to have a campaign. Now something else I also saw through all this um was that the campaign that Black Ops Fort that track were working on. One wasn't going to be finished in time for the release in October. Um um, and also Activision found it a bit too out there, I suppose, is and a bit. I don't know what what necessarily they they see as out there. Um, this could be something controversial or something just too different to, for Activision to trust. Now you got to consider Activision. Obviously, they went very very different with all the jetpack era and all that. Maybe they just don't want to risk doing something major, and this might be a reason why. Um, before I saw that, I was thinking this explains the earlier release date. If they've not got a campaign to work on, um, this would ex possibly explain the earlier release date, which is obviously in October and not November. Um, <coughs> however, if this is true, it would suggest they were working on a campaign. They just don't have the time to finish it, or they don't want to finish it, or Activision don't want them to put it in the game. Um, so yeah, the, the other aspect of this, obviously... They're focused more on multiplayer and zombies, which from a certain point of view is a good thing. I, for one, with spe uh, specifically with Trout Games, adore the zombies, and if they're going to be adding more to zombies, and there's going to be more, that makes zombies even more um, playable for a longer period of time, then that's certainly fine by me. Um, for me, that's where the game will have to make up for this, because like I said, I quite like a good campaign. Um, so hopefully the zombies mode will have a lot new or a lot of new things and a lot of additions ultimately as well the multiplayer has to, obviously I want a good multiplayer hopefully by focusing more on the multiplayer and only and zombies having only those two things to look at hopefully the multiplayer should be quite good now <coughs> now I think now mentioning that that's one area where the Activision and track have to watch themselves because there are people out there that like a campaign, such as myself, as much as it's probably the third most important mode to most people, and there's quite a few people that don't even bother with it. Um, it is. It, there's still quite a few people that will will be disappointed by this, and how are disappointed by this, the fact we're not getting a campaign. A lot of people like Trax campaigns, or at least Black Ops 1 and 2, um, 
and Black Ops 1 and 2 were brilliant campaigns, so people were disappointed on that front. Um, that means there will be pressure on them if they are focusing more on a multiplayer and on a zombies mode. This could put added additional pressure on them, and there's, they're already under a lot of pressure with Call of Duty and its current climate and its current levels of popularity. Um, so this could be a potential risk for them. Um, the multiplayer in Zombies has to be seen as very good and has to see been seen as an improvement. Um, or this won't be justified, essentially, is what I'm getting at. Now, what can this... What can this lead to, essentially, as a game? Now, something I was thinking about, this could mean the game covers the whole era of Black Ops. Um, by doing this, they're able to um, take a lot from all the previous games, as well as new it, new stuff. Um, so that could be something. We could have maps or multiplayer modes from that cover each era. I don't know, that's, a, that's another idea. Um, by by not having a campaign, they're not limited to as or as limited as they would be to a certain era. Obviously, when you set a game in 2025, all the maps are going to be around 2025. <coughs> Black Ops 3 is the same; all the maps are based in future, the future settings or settings within the campaign. And um, by having no campaign, it's not limited to a certain period of time, and that's could be the same for zombies, although zombies it's never really limited to a certain amount, period of time, was it? Um, it's always its own thing. Um, and now let's, let's get on to the Battle Royale mode as well, because that's another um, essentially breaking news of today. Um, that the mode, that the thing that will ultimately re kind of replace the campaign will be Battle Royale now. There have been rumours of Battle Royale in being in Call of Duty for the last few months. Obviously the popularity of PUBG, Fortnite um, <coughs> was always going to get Activision interested and I did a video on this topic, I'll leave that in the description. Um, and I basically kind of said my view on it and my view is that I don't really want a Battle Royale in Call of Duty, I just don't feel like it's a Call of Duty thing. Battle Royale was quite drawn out and um, for me, at least in my my book, serious. Whilst Call of Duty, for me at least, is fast, it's quick, and it's just fun. It's not anything that needs to be taken seriously. I don't care for, I don't take care anywhere near as much on a Call of Duty game as I do on a battle royale game, um, and I just didn't feel like it fit. Um, however, I was very much aware that I'm probably going to get overruled because, like I say, a lot of money's been made by Epic Games, for example, and Activision. <laughs> They love the smell of good, good old money, don't they? They love, they love a tub full of money. They're the type of people that definitely bathe in money. You know those old sort of weird pictures, you know, of people bathing in money. They're the type of people to do that. Um, Battle Royale will certainly interest them, and this certainly wouldn't surprise me. However, it has to be, a, it does, it has to be good again to justify taking campaign out. Um, and that doesn't necessarily mean you can't get away with 18 players. You can't get away with small maps. You have to you have to do it like a fully fledged battle round, and you've got to make it work. Um, ultimately, as I've said, I now want to the, my opinion on this. Uh, as I've said it before, I like a campaign in my in Call of Duty games. Call of Duty campaigns matter to me a lot. They make a big deal. They make a big sort of impact on what I actually think of the game. For example, lots of people seem to have Infinite Warfare as their worst Call of Duty. The reason Infinite Warfare isn't my worst Call of Duty is because of the good campaign. Not many people tried it because of, they just jumped on the bandwagon or they played the multiplayer and they just didn't like it, so they didn't touch the campaign. The campaign was very good, um, and that keeps it above things like Ghosts. And To me, campaigns have always been quite entertaining. They're short, they don't take too long. Um, and they're good stories for the most part. Black Ops 1 and 2 were brilliant stories, so I'm kind of gutted that we don't get to see another story. Um, and I just hope this doesn't become a, a common trend. I hope this is literally Black Ops 4 doesn't really make... They, they just feel like Black Ops 4 doesn't really make sense in terms of where we can take take the story. Um, the trilogy's kind of over. I'm hoping that's what they're thinking. I'm, I'm hoping this isn't going to be a norma normal thing. Certainly, if Infinity War come round and they're making a Modern Warfare game without a campaign, I think I'll be gutted. Um, 
so hopefully this isn't a normal thing I really hope it's not and then also for me personally now there's more pressure on them I um, I feel like Call of Duty games in particular are very much harshly criticised and overhyped I feel like World War 2 suffered from that it was overhyped, people were already celebrating it as some, a massively big game, like good game before it was even out and people jumped on it instantly when things started to go wrong, people call it dead for example now um, which it just isn't. People with Call of Duty game Call of Duty games are incredibly fickle, and this isn't going to help that too much. I generally feel like I go against that, but right now, campaign is a mode to me that matters. And if they're taking that out and they're suggesting this is to benefit the multiplayer and the zombies and this new battle royale mode, all three of these have to be very good for me. They have to be improved from the last game, and they have to have shown improvements and changes that justify taking out a whole campaign for it um, like I say I, I'm always a fan of a campaign I'll always play it through the first thing I do on a Call of Duty game campaign, uh, call, sorry, call of Duty game is I play the first few missions of the campaign I'll get settled in then I'll play a few multiplayer games then I'll play a few zombies games that's always the way it's gone for me um, and that it will disappoint me if there isn't a campaign however equally like I say, Black Ops 3 was a poor campaign, so I'm hoping maybe they just they accept that and they felt like there's nowhere else for them to go. And like I say, this will be a one-off. We won't get this with Infinity Ward, we won't get this with Sledgehammer. Um, and then Trout can come back and do something else three years' time, which is a long way away, so we're getting far too far in the future to speculate on that. Um, but we shall see if these are true. It's quite something I saw uh, um, on Twitter. It's quite ironic, really. we we're getting Black Ops 4, there's not going to be a single player campaign. If we're supposedly getting Modern Warfare 2 remastered, then that's only going to be a single player campaign. Maybe that's their idea of it, you know. If you want a campaign, you can play an old campaign. If you... <laughs> I don't know. It's weird. It's a weird... Call of Duty's in a weird place at the moment. Um, there's a lot of hype, but there's a lot of confusion. Um, but yeah, I'll, let me know what your thoughts are if you're watching this. Leave leave your thought in the comments below. Do you care for a campaign? Do you care that this will be out, or are you not bothered? I see a lot of people saying they haven't touched the campaign for a few years, or they've never been that into the campaign, so this doesn't affect them. Are you someone that loves the campaign? Are you like me? Do you like a good campaign? And are you a little bit disappointed by this? How much so? Does this affect whether you get the game or not? Is it that much? It certainly won't affect whether I get the game or not, because ultimately I do love zombies and I like multiplayer as well, so it's fine. And the battle royale will be interesting to say the least. But that's pretty much all the points I want to make. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and goodbye.